Hey there, today we're going to be looking at Sotol. It's a distilled spirit similar to mezcal and tequila in some regards, uh, different in others. I like to describe it as their rugged cousin because check this out, it can grow in the snow. Also, to give you an idea of what Sotol tastes like, we're going to check out three different brands. All right, let's go. Mezcal and tequila are both made from the agave plant, but Sotol? Nope. Meet the Dazalirian plant. And real quick, let me break out some grade nine biology. All right, let's start off with something relatable. You have agave, which is the genus, and then agave tequilana, genus species. Hey, no dozing off on me now. Similar with Sotol, Dazalirian is the genus, and Dazalirian wieleri would be same, same, genus species. See, that wasn't so bad, easy stuff. Oh, and another thing about Soto plants, they take 12 to 25 years before they're mature and ready to be harvested. But in terms of how it's made, Soto has the best of both worlds. Tequila, for example, it's usually cooked in, say, a ceramic oven at surface, and mezcal, an underground oven called an orno. With respect to distillation, Soto can employ industrial, artisanal, and ancestral methods similar to the other agave distillates. And an interesting nugget I picked up from author John P. McAvoy is that the yield on Sotol is much less than most agave plants. A Sotol plant usually yields a single bottle, whereas with agave, depending on the species, is in the range of five to 10. So this scarcity is a difference between the two. In terms of where it can be made, Sotol has a denomination of origin that limits its production to three Mexican states. You can find uncertified Sotol in Mexican states like Oaxaca, but there it goes by the name Cucharillo. Interestingly enough, Sotol does not have an international denomination of origin. For certified tequila and mezcal, it has to be made in Mexico, but Sotol doesn't have that limitation. Which brings us to our first brand, Desert Door Sotol, made in the good old US of A. They use Dazalirian Texanum, which grows in the Chihuahuan Desert that extends up into West Texas. The production process is similar to some industrial tequilas using a pressure steamer to cook the Sotol, then it's milled by shredding machine and distilled in stainless steel. First, we're gonna check out the flavors on this Desert Door Hoven style expression or Blanco to the tequila crowd. On the nose, I'm getting a raw sourdough bread note and something that reminds me of flour water that's been left in a vase. Now onto the palate. I'm getting a floral, almost a medicinal type sweetness and mint in the finish. The next Desert Door expression is Oak Aged and it's an Anejo. Let's take a look. Nice, look at that color, liquid gold. Down to the nose which is really nice. Two things happening here. You have the sort of the essence of the Soto plant. Uh, it is floral. Uh, it smells a bit to me like rose water, uh, but then you also have the barrel notes, big time barrel notes. You have the oak, a bit of vanilla, really inviting so far. All right, let's give this Anejo a go on the palate. Mm. Good stuff. So the sweet aspect at the beginning, a little uh, caramel toffee in the middle, herbal, medicinal, oak all the way through. And what I like about it is it's got a nice bump in heat in the finish. Some white pepper, a bit of mint heat, really nice to finish her off. And since this is 50% ABV, it's got full flavors the whole ride. All right, up next we have the Coyote Chihuahua Sotol made in Aldama, uh, which is, you guessed it, in the Mexican state of Chihuahua. The Sotolero behind this is Gerardo Ruelas Hernandez, and he uses Dazalirian Leophyllum to craft the Sotol. The production of the Sotol is more in line with artisanal mezcal, cooked in an orno with mesquite wood, stone crushed, and distilled in copper, punching at an ABV of 50%. Now we're back to a Hoven or unaged style expression here. On the nose, definitely pine. Um, 
bit of pine wood, pine needles, and grassy. It reminds me of tall prairie grass where I used to grow up. Now on the palette, right off the bat, I get sort of a campfire ash, some anise, um, celery, celery water. A little, little flat at first, but after a couple, couple seconds, it really starts to come around. Another sip here. This is a nice combination of pineapple citrus and charred smoky meat. I'm imagining a pineapple marinated chicken roasting on a mesquite campfire grill. And finally, we have the Flor del Desierto Sotol made in the Madeira region in Chihuahua State as well. This one here is made by Sotolero Jose Armando Fernandez Flores. He uses Dazalirian Williri, which is one of the more common ones for producing Sotol. I'm excited about this one here because it's a lot like ancestral mezcal production. So we have the agave is cooked in a pit with oak wood. It's chopped up by hand. And get this, cow stomped. All right, let's give this one a go here. And like before, we have the Hoven style unaged on the nose. And since this is distilled in clay pots, I'm picking up clay aromas. Uh, and also some minerality, uh, some limestone, and consistent with the other ones, grassy, very herbal. All right, onto the palate. Mm. Big sip there. Bit, bit of sweetness at first, and almost kind of a burnt grass, and it's flat for the first few seconds, but then it really, really starts to take shape. Another dip here. Mm. Yes, we have pine, some anise, oak in there, and I love the clay. It reminds me, it has sort of this chocolatey, um, lingering, sweetness in the background, a lot like mezcals that I, I love that come from Santa Catarina Minas. Yeah, this, this one here definitely deserves a uh, third pop, just to, I've got to calibrate, I've got to make sure that my flavors are good. Mm. Or maybe I just wanted to have another sip, but flavors are awesome. All of the above, this stuff rocks. All right, time to rank these guys, and I will go in order. So we have first the Desert Door Hoven. I gave this three stars out of five on Mescal Reviews. Uh, it's good. Mainly the at 40%, I'm used to sipping on sort of a 45 to 55% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, the flavors were good, but to me a bit diluted. Mainly that's just because of what I'm used to. So uh, one of the strengths, this is good value. This is probably in the $30 to $40 range. I think you can find it at that. Um, and then next up, you have the Desert Door Sotol Aged. And this one really caught me off guard in a good way. I am not typically driven to, to like sort of aged mezcal, aged uh, tequila. I like my Blancos. I, I especially like my Hoven mezcals. But this one was really, really nice. It was, I would give it a four stars out of five on the SCAR reviews. Um, definitely re recommend trying it. Uh, up next, uh, four stars We here as well. We have the Coyote Chihuahua Sotol, made in sort of the, uh, artisanal, the artisanal sort of mezcal methods and rock solid. Great flavors throughout, um, but this guy here is the pick of the letter. The, Flor de Desierto Sotol, four and a half out of five on, on Mescal Reviews, mainly because I am a sucker for ancestral 
type mezcal production. Uh, I love clay distilled and they took that magic, they translated it to the Sotol and I definitely recommend give it a try. All right, that's it. This is basically Sotol in a nutshell. Uh, it has been a great deviation from my regular mezcal related content. And next time, back to our regular scheduled programming. As always, thanks a lot for sticking around. And if you like what you see here, just tap that subscribe button. You don't gotta smash it, don't crush it. Just give it a little tap. And uh, I'm gonna sign off uh, with a shout out to the winner here with a big clay distilled Sotol salute. See you next time.